Kampi Flegrei, Europe's largest supervolcano, awakening. To the northwest of Naples, we find the Campi Flegre supervolcano. At the end of 2016, an international team of geologists published a worrying study. Although it has been dormant for almost 500 years, the last time it erupted was in 1538, Campi Flegre shows signs of awakening. For those who do not know what a supervolcano is, it is a volcano that is larger than usual, but whose capacity to cause damage is enormous. In fact, in Europe, Mount Flegre has become the largest volcano in proportion. The caldera of this volcano was formed 39,000 years ago, and it was the largest eruption in 200,000 years. Some theories link, although not definitively and there are many others, a link between the Campi de Flegre eruption and the extinction of the Neanderthals. Supervolcanoes like Campi de Flegre are not ordinary volcanoes, they are so large that they can collapse on themselves, creating vast areas of craters, geysers, hydrothermal activity and sulfuric acid. The Yellowstone volcano in the United States is a good example. Campi Flegre consists of 24 craters, and a series of volcanic structures, most of which are submerged in the Mediterranean Sea. 200,000 years ago, long before the current caldera was formed, the volcano erupted. A study published in 2010 by experts from the University of Chicago confirmed that this event caused a nuclear winter. With ash blocking sunlight for years, it is estimated that more than 3.7 trillion liters of molten rock rose to the surface during the eruption, emitting large amounts of sulfuric acid into the atmosphere. As stated at the time by Giuseppe De Natale, from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, this phenomenon is the only one truly comparable to the impact that a large meteorite can cause. The surface it occupies is not that of a classic volcano, like Vesuvius, which is located very close to Campi Flegre. However, it is scattered, with many craters, as we can see in the image. Add to this that Vesuvius has shown signs of greater activity and pressure. We can observe it in the roundabout, the land area, and the one it occupies in the Mediterranean Sea. Until a few months ago, a team of volcanologists from the National Institute of Geophysics led by Giovanni Cedini in his research stated that the pressure of the volcano had reached a critical point. It could be that nothing happens. This type of volcano does not have a measurable central cone and the underground magma inside it tends to occupy a larger area. However, this is indicated by the signs of various boilers. As indicated, the impact could affect 500,000 people who live in the area.